Hey everybody, Logan here. And today, I decided to do something a little different. A little different. Not just doing a box opening. No, I'm not doing that. Why? Because it's new. It's a new version of one I've already opened. It was a purple one I did uh, last year. And now it's at the end of 2022. And they've come out with a new variant of the same controller. That's Power A and their enhanced wireless controller. So if you guys have seen, I did the one, I guess it's just a regular purple one, but it's the same controller. I've also had uh, previously a blue one, but I did uh, a box opening on the purple one. And well, this is sort of the same, but one thing they've added is a one month subscription to Game Pass. But that's only if you are not an existing member. If you're already an existing member, it don't work. I tried. So, um, this one is, how do I say, the same. I was hoping that they would have changed something. Now, the only things that I have noticed, because I have been playing with it for a while to test it out. I, I decided instead of just doing the box opening, I'm going to do a test run give it a whole review and as you can see well it's actually plugged into my Xbox right now I decided to play a stint play a couple of games and see how it plays on different types of games the one I played the most with it was Grand Theft Auto Online of course if you guys have followed my channel watched any of my shorts you guys know I'm a big GTA Online uh, player so I decided to play this on the game that I play the most because one, it has shooting and racing, well, driving and all those other mechanics. So I thought it'd be a good one to spend more time on. I have actually played it on Overwatch 2. Yeah, they decided to drop that phone number thing if you're a legacy player. If you're not, not so much. So it took them like a day to merge my accounts. So I didn't have to do it. But hey, they did it across all, all the platforms that I have it on. And I was like, okay, little heads up. It's like Overwatch 1.5. I'll get into that on another video. I actually have my opinions on that coming soon. And uh, this controller. This controller is $39.99. I, want, I wouldn't recommend it, but I would recommend it. Odd, right? Okay, there is another one which I thought I had here. Give me one second. We're gonna and see. There we go. It's this one that is the one I've really been workhorsing. That sounds weird, but it's become a workhorse for me. My standard controller is this one, the Elite Core. So the Elite Core, I did a whole review on it. I did an unboxing, and this is a fantastic controller. When the battery dies, I don't always have access to the cable, or because it does have the built-in battery, but sometimes I'm too lazy to charge it. It happens. And I just plug this one in. I bet you're saying, why don't you just plug in the charge cable? Because it's over there, this one's right in front of me. I get lazy, okay? I'm a gamer. We're all lazy at times. Okay. So this one is the one that I've really recommended multiple um, videos or basically videos that I've covered multiple Xbox controllers saying which one's the best for your money. This one you can find anywhere from $19.99 to $29.99 depending on the store that you're buying it at. I got this at Walmart for $19.99. I've seen it at GameStop for $29. And then I've also seen it recently at another Walmart for $24. I'm not sure what the standard price is on the market. I want to say it's about 24. I saw it at, I want to say at a Target and they had it. They, they have them in different colors, but the big difference is it doesn't have the, the audio control like this one does right here. And it also doesn't have the programmable buttons on the back. That's your program button. These are your mappable buttons where you can map any of the face buttons to here just by holding that button and then pressing the face button and the corresponding back paddle button. Uh, I'm sorry, this is a little weird video, but it was kind of impromptu. Um, 
I knew I wanted to cover this controller, but I didn't know how I wanted to control it because uh, cover it because it was very similar to the purple one, the one that was released last year. And I was like, all right, I don't know how to recommend this. If you've already bought the old ones, I would not. I w it's not an upgrade. It just has a different finish. It's got a different graphic. It's a different printing. If you already have the wireless, sorry, the, the wired uh, enhanced controller from one of the previous models, don't buy a new one unless you like the new design. Not worth it. The only big difference I would say is this one compared to this one. Do you like the flappy paddles on the back? Do you like the enhanced uh, audio feature on the bottom? Me? I'd rather save a couple bucks and go with this one. They feel the same. Buttons press the same. Um, the sticks, identical. Now people have said, uh, since I did the review on this one, that they've had stick drift. I can't say I have. I've used this quite a bit, like I said, it's my consistent backup controller. I've used it quite a bit. I used it on two different Xboxes, um, and honestly, no problem. You could see I constantly have it wrapped up because I'm constantly cleaning up and everything. So this is right here. This is always at arm's length. This one, between $20 and $40. $25 and $40, depending on where you're getting it on average. I don't think I don't think it's worth it. This is a great controller. Do I think it's worth having the audio there? Well, I don't have a headset plugged in, so it doesn't light up. But um, the other one uh, used to light up constantly. It would always stay lit. I do like the fact that that doesn't happen anymore. Um, I can't say I can't say yes. I can't. If this didn't exist, yes, it's a great value compared to your standard Series X controller, your standard Series S controller, or the Elite controller. No, not by any means is this Elite level, but it gives you slightly a little bit of extra features if you like that in the back. It has a different texture on here. Don't know if you guys can see that. It does have a different texture. This one does not. I prefer the smooth controller. Yeah, I know I could probably zoom in, zoom out, and all this fancy, but why? It's just me telling you, this is a better controller for your money. I haven't had any problems with it. I really like it. I actually like the white. The white is a very clean color with the gray caps. It reminds me very much of Xbox 360. Um, this comes in all kinds of different colors. I've seen it in pink, I've seen it in blue, I've seen it in red, I've seen it in purple, I've seen it in purple and black, I've seen it in green, I've seen it in red and everything. This one, white, I think it was a black as well, that's it. Doesn't mean there's others out, not others out there, that's all I've seen. Um, the white is a clean color, it actually doesn't get dirty at all. And like I said, it reminds me very much of an Xbox 360 controller. And that, that I, I guess that hit me in the nostalgia bone. But um, wow, isn't that crazy? Xbox 360 is now nostalgic. When did that come out? 2005? 17 years ago? Oh my god, I'm old. I remember the day it came out. I was working at EB. I'm not going to get into that. But, 40? 25. You take your pick. I would go with this one. They play exactly the same unless you want those little flappy buttons on the back. Your choice. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. I hope this little down and dirty video comparison of the enhanced wired controller. I always forget. I have it over here. Enhanced wired controller and just the Power A wired controller. And Italy, this is it's no comparison. But yeah, 
I, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out a little bit if you were just uh, trying to decide which one to get. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Remember to follow us on our socials at Red Bandana Gaming on Facebook and Instagram and at RBG underscore retro on Twitter. I'm trying to twit the tweets more often on there. Why not? <laughs> oh, oh, it's been a long day. It's been a long day, but I'll stop rambling on now. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like we always say. Be legendary. Thanks again. And yes, I'm wearing a Batman Beyond shirt, okay? Yeah, I like Batman Beyond. Terry McGinnis. Okay, I'm done.